is the energy vibration reading for the sun moon and rising Tauruses, and i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um it is the week of thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving to everyone out there that celebrate thanksgiving um this is the energy vibration reading for the taurus i want to say um thank you to each and every person that has been supporting my channel i'm so grateful for the help please remember to donate to the church of uh, um the donations this um this is a special event for the homeless uh, for the people um in uh, fort lauderdale so um, it is a week of water your earth sign so earth and water always go good it is going to be an emotional week the first half of the week begins with water the second end up with fire so this is going to be good so let's see what we have for the energy vibration for the Tauruses in this week which is going to be a positive energies um, some people aren't seeing clearly seeing things clearly but a new beginning is coming in for you the magician is here to help you so this is going to be good so let me get myself centered um, because um, we are going to take a deep look I'm using the shadowscape deck uh, this week because it's a wonderful deck it's, it's um, a deck that I always um, use um, the focus for you guys in this week is going to be a wonderful focus because we have the energy of the ten of Pentacles so this is going to be positive for a lot of Tauruses out there um, some people got focuses in this week some people didn't have any focuses so whatever is happening for you Tauruses you need to understand that this week begins with good news the six of ones which is good news is coming in you have um, a water energy on Tuesday which you need to go within to find um, the inner wisdom and guidance um, your week is going to be a week of on clarity because you have the energy vibration of water and fire and water and fire is always um, um, is a sense of not seeing something clearly the four of ones is here so the four of ones is explaining to you that it is going to be um, whatever is happening there you have a strong foundation and you're about to receive a new start which is also very wonderful the weekend you have an air sign and the knight of wands the energy of the air sign and the knight of wands is the magician and the knight of wands coming in so it's the hair and fire energy with the air from fire is always you know sparkling things things happening in sudden because the mag magician bring things to happen in sudden for you so let's focus remember this week is a week of Thanksgiving and please donate your focus the ten of Pentacles is a wonderful energy to have as your focus in a week because what this is doing for you is that this is helping you to understand a certain aspect of yourself good news is coming in on Monday so that's going to be good and um, whatever the situation is you are going to be realizing a message is coming in you need to find in a strength and uh, um, this new beginning is that you're turning your back on what's whatever is happening and looking forward to something new clarity is going to be here no matter whatever is happening the page of swords comes in with the queen of cups that is going to um, bring some of you um, messages but first let's move in and see what is going to be the energy vibration for you guys in this week you have um, the number four energy which is stability um, four is always the sense of stability bringing stability in your life and um, this is wonderful so whatever that seems to be a ray and whatever that seems to be out of place whatever that was happening in your life you need to understand that a sense of stability is going to be coming back in your life which a lot of you have been looking for that strength of stability because it has been a waving sense for most of you and with the foundation of the number four this is saying to you that you are in balance and this is a very positive so again I need to say to you whatever the 
uncertainty is whatever you're not seeing clear will become clear at the end of the week on Sunday um, uh, everything is going to be clear to you it is not one of the easiest sense in this week because you're an earth sign you're a grounded sign a cardinal sign but yet still sometimes the aspect of uncertainty comes in your life which you need to deal with on Monday um, we have the energy vibration of the six of one so this is good news coming in to you and this good news is coming in from the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands could be an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius so this is wonderful this is good news that is coming in this is positive news whatever the situation whatever that has been transpiring in your life there's good news coming in and there is going to be coming a message from the Queen of Wands so this is positive as we look forward we're looking at the energy of the hermit the energy of the hermit is always going in for inner guidance and uh, inner wisdom to find out where you are and how you can transpire things and this is going to affect most of you men um, and these are people between the ages of 35 and older this is going to affect you men because you have to go within for inner wisdom and guidance so for you Tauruses in this week it's going to be a week where the men is going to be affected on a Tuesday as we move on on Wednesday and the crowning of your week you have the energy of the eight of swords which you are not seeing a situation clearly which is a, a message is going to be coming in to explain to you uh, um, a situation and something that has transpired okay I am going to take a look to see what is that situation and what is happening because um, there is doubt um, not seen clearly on scene of something and let's see what is the message that is coming in to make clarity a new beginning is coming in you are spiritually protected and ready for anything and uh, there is a situation with the Queen of Cups so this you will have a situation um, you know a new beginning is coming in for you with this new beginning that is coming in for you which you're not seeing clearly this new beginning is going to um, protect you there is a sense of protection that is happening for you so whatever the situation is that whatsoever had transpired and occur um, with this Queen of Cups um, you are going to receive a message about this and with this message it is going to um, give you clarity to a situation that has happened as and this Queen of Cups can be someone who is a Pisces um, it can be someone who is a Pisces uh, or a Cancer or a Scorpio so whoever this Queen of Cups is and whatever that you weren't seeing on Claire um, and um, this uh, information is going to come in about this woman okay as we look at Thursday we have the energy of the four of ones remember that your number is 44 the angels are in this week um, open up and ready to help you Tauruses okay 44 is always the number of the angels so we have the energy of the number four of ones which is telling you to have inner strength and courage because you or um, you're standing you're in a strong foundation you're standing it's as if something had taken place and you feel as if the wool the rope the carpet has pulled out from underneath your feet and what they're saying and what they're coming in and giving you this message on Thursday to say is that you have a strong foundation and you just need to find inner strength so call upon the angels and guides and ask for inner strength to deal with whatsoever that is coming towards you because this is going to bring you a brand new beginning so a lot of you have turned your back on something and looking for something new in your life and this is going to happen because a new beginning is coming for you a lot of people decided to leave something behind and a lot of people have been deciding to move on and this is where it is going to happen for you on Friday good news is going to come in to show you that it is time to move on whatever you were thinking about to leave behind it is good it is okay 
okay do that okay so let's see um, it is a, a clear message so it's like you're at the end of a situation and um, uh, end of a situation with a uh, someone who um, is a karmatic situation that has happened in your life so this is good whatever you were thinking because this is it you were thinking about leaving something behind on Friday and a new beginning is coming in for you and this is good because what has transpired is that you're at the end of a journey of something that has happened in your life and you're moving forward and this journey has to do with a karmatic situation a karmatic family situation or um, situation that involve people that you had to clear karma with in an organization the energy of the air event um, of the Emperor's here so it has to deal with a work situation so for the people who were in business deal with other people and that sort of a thing and you're thinking about moving away and getting yourself out of that situation it's going to happen for you it was a karmatic situation that you had to dealt with okay so there is going to um, become a new beginning so let's say that all of a sudden you have um, you know you have lost your work or something like that if you're here that your contract wasn't going to be um, renewed what has happened is that you decided okay that's it I'm looking forward for something else and that situation has ended and it was a karmatic situation with some family member organization groups of people because it was a karmatic situation with your boss because that's an authority figure it can also be for some people who are who was married to and, and this is more of an organization it has no, nothing to do with marriage or your personal life it has to do with business deals situation group study studying and that sort of a thing that um, there was a situation what that has ended and you're looking forward to move out and branch out is something new and this is going to be good for you on Saturday you have the energy of the hair energy on Saturday you have the magician and the magician is going to come in and help you via your intuition and guidance and as you rest and take the time to rest you are going to receive the information that you need to receive okay so this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be good because what is happening here is that the magician via your intuition is going to come in as you rest and you have peace of mine you are going to see that whatever that has been happening you're going to find the clarity um, the magician is going to bring you wonderful new ideas and possibilities and solution because the magician is always um, the energy of bringing in solution and while you stay in the quietness and the stillness this magician is going to bring in the information that you need to move forward as we look at Sunday some of you are going to have a situation with someone who is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a Taurus. A, the Knight of Wands is a, a Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, and um, a clarity um, information are going to be coming into you, and you're going to start see a situation um, in the uh, in good light and. Um, this night of ones is going to open up and let you and uh, let you be aware of something that you wasn't aware of so let's see what information this night is going to bring in I'm having the energy let's see what information this night is going to bring in to you what situation this night is going to bring in to you the knight is going to bring the knight of pentacles and there is going to be a strong foundation this is going to be good because um and guarded um and you are going to be successful in whatever endeavor it is okay so let's go again and look at what is happening here what is happening here is that there was a situation that has to do with someone who is an Aries, a Leo, or a, Sag or a Sagittarius. This person is between the ages of 18 and 35. Okay, 
and um, this person brings clarity to you over a situation on Sunday what is that clarity it tells you about someone who is and this is going to affect whatever is happening on Sunday is going to affect the people who are between the ages of 18 and 40 because this energy is coming in so um, the knight of wands who is an Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius is going to help you guys out so if you are a Taurus between the ages of 18 and 35 he's going to help you out to bring um, a good strong foundation in your life and not only that you are going to be victorious over whatever situation that has been happening in your life and this is going to be extremely positive so as I look at your week um, your overall week um, the energy of love is not so much focused in this week it's all about the aspect of who you are where you're at what journey you're on how you're traveling it's about work because whatever the situation is because you weren't um, seeing something clearly and there was a situation that was playing out because um, the energy of um, the situation that was playing out is that you weren't seeing something clearly about your work so people who um, suddenly lost their jobs and whatever and has uh, transpired with business situations and that sort of a situations you weren't seeing that clear and that has to do with a woman who um, you know you, who you are going to start on a new journey and you're spiritually protected against this woman and this woman is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion whoever this person is of was she has done something to you and the message is going to come in the week that she has done something that was unjust to you and um, what you're going to see happen is that a magician comes in to help you but you have to be in calmness to find out and to receive that information okay and it has to do with either you're in a study group either you are in a study or whatsoever um, that has to do it has nothing to do with love because this week is not a situation with love this week is a situation where you are looking for your inner light to find out exactly what has transpired for you women it's it's going to be a week of um work situations um you're looking for a new job you you're looking um looking out to find something new in your life you're looking for a new job you're looking for a new place you're looking for um, a new situations because whatever that you had to dealt with in the past with past relationships um, with a boss with an organization has come to an end and you're looking for something that is much better that can bring you that positive energy that you're looking for within okay so it's 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 a week of really um um you trying to find your yourself and healing certain aspect of yourself and trying um to bring forth um positive energies in your life and this is going to be good so let's move on and see um working with the light workers oracle because it is the week of thanksgiving so let's see what do they have to say number 23 and it is oh my god this is thanks to the angels and guide because this week thanksgiving falls on the 23rd of november and here you are having this energy of the number 23 so on thursday intuition by water and this is thanksgiving and it's like a back because intuition by water is saying that you need to use water to cleanse your soul um, the you're an earth sign it is a week of water and um, from Wednesday the week change to the fire energy and they are asking you that on Thursday whatever is happening because on Thursday you have a strong foundation but you you need to look for that inner strength and finding that inner strength within on Thursday you are going to be initiated by water and this is so good so let's um, look at what is happening for you 
your spiritual part this lifetime involves you becoming a clear channel for spirit so you Taurus spirit is calling upon you to help you are meant to communicate with higher guidance from the loving spiritual world your intuition your initiation by water will further open up your um, receiving channel diagnose lower vibrational material and sensitivity um, you to, to um, substill the room of the light you're being open to a world of which you may only have dreamed such is it beautiful grace and love so remember that on the 23rd a lot of you especially if you are on the part to ascension and you are working um, with positive energies um, a lot of good possibilities are going to be open up a lot of good doors are going to be open up because you have opened and uh, open yourself to the pure light and the spirit to come in and help and guide you laser beam a laser beam is a year energy from um, the energy from the Oracle and this is wonderful a lot of people like this card there's a lot of messages that is coming in about this card they like it because it is straight at the point and it says laser beam bring your attention back to the center back to your intention you have been waving a lot a bit for the last time but all it takes is to achieve your desire is a little bit of connectness focus on what you want then focus again for extra lazy light um, precise and clarity relinquish the sweet feeling of a zero in on that finish line so a lot of you focus are out in this week and this card is saying bring back your focus to that which you will um, that you want to bring in that you want to manifest in your life um, where you need to go and um, what it is so that you can have the abundance of this ten of Pentacles this is all that this message is saying in this week I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back um, know that spirit is with you it is a week where it is emotional cleansing it is a week of cleansing because we have water and fire which is to cleanse in energy and um, by releasing what that which no longer serve you you are going to have positive endeavors coming out I want to say thank you for being here namaste until next week enjoy the Thanksgiving and remember the people who have nothing to eat and for the rest of the world I'm saying to each and everyone out there I love you I'm sending you lots of love I'm hoping that your wishes and dreams will come true and we'll speak next week